The Jumping Bean franchise on Elizabeth Avenue in St. John's is buzzing. I can't reach back to get the, um, get the door closed. As we showed you last night, a woman who uses a power chair, Ashley Martin Hanlon, ran into a snag in the bathroom. I couldn't get my chair in enough to turn around to reach back and close the door. So I would have had to um, take care of business with the door open, which wouldn't have been ideal. Accessibility advocate Joanne McDonald agreed to go to that Jumping Bean location and take a look at the washroom, along with Jumping Bean marketing manager George Murray. Yeah, I mean, this kind of space is good for, certainly for my chair, George. It wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be an issue at all. And this is very accessible. Okay, what about the sink? Well, let's have a look here. Uh, the box of supplies stored underneath when Martin Hanlon visited is gone. The two things that I would point out to you is that I can't really access the uh, soap, dispenser. soap dispenser. I could go around and get it this way, but my hands are going to be wet. You know, right, right, right. It needs to be lower it needs to be or lower on the far wall. Far wall. Yeah. This needs to be wrapped. This pipe right here. Okay. Because a lot, a lot of times, uh, if that gets in any way hot at all, well, I'm holding up, maybe I'm in the summer, and I've got shorts. Sure, yeah, right. Gonna... It needs to be wrapped to be softer, and it needs to be wrapped to dissipate the heat, right? CBC asked Jumping Bean to share its perspective on the issues with that washroom, and it turns out the company has quite the story to tell. So, George, how shocked were you to hear there are accessibility issues with that washroom? I was pretty shocked because we had just received a call from the Coalition for the Persons with Disabilities saying that they were uh, looking at featuring us as part of a, a program on um, their, their website as an accessible space. Um, we had thought we were, we were right in uh, line with um, the legislation and of course we are, but the problem with the legislation is just because it means, uh, says it's accessible doesn't mean it's necessarily usable and that's what I'm learning. So you're saying that that location complied with all of the accessibility requirements. Yeah, we couldn't have even opened the doors without uh, without it being inspected and without it being... Um, I've spoken with the architects and uh, the engineers involved and uh, they've shown me all the rules and, and, uh, and we thought we were 100% compliant. We want to be compliant because one of our one of our main goals is to engage all of our different communities uh, and the idea that we would have a community that uh, isn't able to use our facilities to the fullest extent is really distressing. So Joanne, this seems really puzzling to me. This is a company that has followed all of the requirements, has passed the inspections, and yet we have been able to show that someone using a chair that's a little bit bigger than yours can't actually close the stall door. What questions do you have? I'm amazed. I'm amazed, uh, but it really puts a spotlight in terms of where the issues are. And it's not with business owners like the Jumping Bean. The issue is with the legislation that we currently have because it's not up to date. And clearly, following the inspections, supposedly, it was fully accessible to individuals using power chairs and ordinary chairs. Um, but it's not. It's not functioning as such. So, George, what is the plan? In terms of the uh, moving the stalls, uh, one of the things that we're looking at is the possibility of making each bathroom fully unisex bathroom with only one toilet and one sink and so forth. So there's lots of space to move around in each one. Uh, fewer people can use it at once, but at the same time, you know, it, it works in, in other locations. We're looking at that possibility. We're looking at the possibility of bringing the stalls out further, creating more room or redesigning. When you start moving plumbing, you get into a lot of money, a lot of expense, and, and that kind of thing so it's a, a combination of trying to still you know uh, be a, a business that's you know um, reducing costs but at the same time this is where we would like to spend money. So Joanne what do you think of what you're hearing now? I'd like to go to Jumping Bean it's in my neighborhood it's a local business and I want to support local and I do so I'm thrilled to hear that uh, what George is saying and that they're uh, quite interested in I'd, resolving some of these issues. I'd encourage all other business owners to do the same thing. Look, take take this footage and, and look at your own business. You might be compliant, but is it usable? And that's a good question. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, because if it's not, not functioning, functioning for me as a wheelchair user, then, you know, legislation or not, mm -hmm. it's not working for us. Right.